What's up, everyone? Hi everyone, my name is Danny. It's wonderful to see you today, as always. And today, everyone, we're going back to Instagram. Now, some of you may know, I have an Instagram. Crazy. Um, and on Instagram, you can message people. You can message, like, whoever you want. It's crazy. You can even message me. That's insane. But when you message me, what happens is, you go into a queue, like a request area, right? Here. You got my DMs here? You got the request button at the top right corner. Click it. Boom messages now i've been looking at these messages for say over a year now and um i look at them on video because people are weird and what happens when people are weird i laugh at them and i cringe and i move on so who wants to laugh cringe and move on with me today because that's what we're doing today is especially just i don't know what to say my dms have been horrible lately i don't know why but just filled with so much creepy shit so today come with me to look at my creepy dms and we'll hopefully hopefully they're funny so let's do this this one this one's a great one to start off on danny your bones look so thick i want to suck on them what does that mean like we just started we just got here what is happening? I don't know if that's an innuendo or they're just actually talking about my fucking bones. Mm, yes, your calcium. I can smell it from here. I want to suck all the marrow out of your bones. What a start. What a start. I don't want to continue, but we're going to pay for content. Oh, here's one that here. This one's this one's a tricky one. This one. They tried to get me. Hey, yo, you probably won't see this, but I, your content makes me so happy. Um, My dog and I watch your TikToks every day and you make me so horny. God. It's a run-on sentence. It was so nice. Wow, I love your content. It makes me so happy. And then it just goes on like, yeah, I, I, I'm horny. I didn't need to know this. Sorry, I'm eating chicken nuggets right now. How do y'all like your chicken nuggets? I like mine crispy. Look at that. Look at the crisp brown on that. Crispy nuggets, where it's at. This one's not This one's not creepy. This is just a roller coaster. This person has been using my DMs as a diary. So let's go through the entire thing. Hello, I'm going to be using your DMs as a diary from now on because I'm too lazy to keep one in a book. Me too. Writing is hard. Anyways, today sucked ass because I had exams and now my friend has COVID. Bye. They started typing January 6th. This is January 8th. All right, so this, the last time they DM'd me was January 8th. And then they DM'd me again on February 4th. Holy fuck, I forgot my diary. Forgot. Fuck. For gore. Anyways, it's 1am and life sucks. Bye. And then they DM'd me on February 10th. Hi, I forgot again. Anyways, I just realized that the guy who sits next to me, which I talk during classes when I'm bored and has a sense of humor, even though it's ha bad half the time, remembers some details of what I like. That is a grammatical wonder to read. Oh my god. God. All right, and then uh, yesterday they just DM'd me. I remember here. I remember here after a long time again, and I fucking hate everyone more now. What the fuck is wrong with people? They should all be burned alive. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, I'm a lesbian. A roller coaster. This person sent a picture of their dog. This person just said, "If you look after chickens, that makes you a chicken tender." This is a joke I made in my TikToks, but I'm gonna say it again here on YouTube because it's funny. So if I watch chickens, I'm a chicken tender. Um, but if I say chicken finger, that's a direction. Chicken strip also too. Why don't you chicken strip for me, baby? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just as bad as my DMs. This one's also a roller coaster. So the first time this person DM'd me is December 24th. All right, I saw you say on TikTok, DM me pictures of your cat. So they sent me pictures of their cat. Very cute. Very adorable. Three beautiful cats. Goodbye. And then they DM'd me a couple days ago. The one that's not black died. That sucks. Losing a pet is like the worst thing. And ugh. I had a black cat when I was younger. Her name was Eve. She was adorable. She was my first ever like actual pet. Before her I had like a turtle and I had like frogs. But Eve was my first actual pet. Let me see if I can find a picture of her. She was my life. She was adorable. She was, I, I used to volunteer at the Humane Society all the time. And I would, she was like the cat I would always go to. And she did this thing with me, like only me. It was really weird. It was not weird. It was really cute. And what she would do is she would like, she, you know, like she's like teething on things. She would teeth on like my fingers, but like just the sides like this. She'd like rub her teeth on my knuckle. And it was the cutest thing. So I adopted her. One day I came home and she somehow got out of the house and we couldn't find her since. And it sucks. Where's my baby? Where's my baby Eve? This is a horrible picture, but here's me when I was a child. Baby Danny. With, with, with his cat. Sedge. Oh, here's a great one. I want you to fuck me so bad, please. That's, that's just, that's it, that's it. Where's the spice? Where's the creativity? There's nothing. Nothing. God, everyone always, and like every one of my videos, people always ask me, Danny, are you fruity? 
Yes! Here's another sneaky one for you. Hi, Danny. I really like your content, and I'm not gonna lie. You kind of make me horny, but never mind. No, don't say never mind. What the fuck? People are so bold. Like, where do people find it in themselves to just be like, hey, your content really makes me feel safe, and you turn me on so much. Just imagine this. I'm talking to Arnie. Arnie, that video made phenomenal. I was rock hard while watching it. Okay, I'm gonna read this slowly. Danny, I just dreamed of us being friends and besties, and seriously... It was so hot, we got along really well, and then you kissed me on my neck, and then it got spicier, and I woke up moaning. WHY?! Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your family! Dishonor on your cow! People have so much courage to tell me these things. My hair looks good right now, too. Hi. I like my hair. I want to go back to black hair really bad, but at the same time, I really like the white hair. And obviously, we have the token daddy. 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 Father. Hello. Daddy. 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 Oh, this one's also really funny. I love your videos. Keep it up. And I'm so sorry about the horny people out there. I'm one of them, but yeah. Well, at least you're honest. Okay, I'm gonna read this slowly again because the grammar's a little off. Hi, I'm a this is my last year of high school, so it's my last prom, and I'd like you to go with me if you wanted to. If not, that's completely fine, but will you go me go 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 me with to prom? Um, I feel like I'm a little old for that. Plus, I've gone to prom three times. Almost four. You didn't get in my last year. I'm okay though. Thank you for being polite though. But go to prom. Prom's Awesome. Dances, high school dances like are some of my favorite memories of high school because they're just really fun and really enjoyable. You know, you just go on, you vibe and you have a good time with your friends. You don't need a date. It's fun to have a date if you like dancing and chilling with them, but you know, just dancing with your friends is amazing. Go to prom, have fun kids, stay in school or not like me, which I, I dropped out of college. <laughs> I, I want to go back to college eventually. Eventually I will. This person just said you're short. Yes. Oh, this person did adorable fan art. Look at this guys. Look at me. Look at the good boy. Look at the good boy. Not Bucket, Bucket's a bad boy. Look at me, I'm the good boy. This person said, hi Danny, I'm gay. Hi gay, I'm Danny. This person just straight out asked me my phone number. You're not gonna get that. Oh look, here's another creepy one. God, I love reading Wattpads about you. It helps me imagine things that I shouldn't. Like what? Like what things? Elaborate. Would you please? I'd love to hear what you're imagining. No, come on, you're already bold. Just put it out there. Please! I'm waiting to hear the truth. So tell me, what are you imagining? And what the fuck are you doing in my what pets? I know exactly what they're doing. And I'm scared. Ah, uh, more daddies. Before, before I started like doing internet stuff, like daddy was never a huge turn on for me. But now with all of this, it's definitely not. Hey, I wanna write fanfics of you, smut of course, lol. Yes, of course, obviously. <laughs> What? And wondered what you're not comfortable with being written. <laughs> of course I'm gonna write smut about you, but like, what's the boundary? <laughs> oh my god. That sentence seems a little contradictory. Of course I'm gonna write about you fucking me, but like, where's the boundary? <laughs> god, I'm just, I love imagining you having vigorous sex with me, but like... What's the safe word? Boundaries? I don't know, just write it. I want... At this point, it's content for me. It's funny to read. I can read it with my friends and we can laugh about how people are trying to fuck us. No, but seriously, go write smut. It's funny. No, as much as I actually dread like reading Wattpads and stuff, it is funny. It is content. So this one just says, fuck you, Danny. Why are you gay? Because. Thank you. Daniel, when is thine birthday? June 1st, 2002. I'm gonna be 20 soon, damn. Wild. When are you dropping the feet pics? When someone donates $2,000 to me on Twitch. Y'all want the toes? Give me the does. I think that toe joke is a good place to end this video. So, um, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed me reading my very creepy and sometimes wholesome DMs. Most of the time they're not. Hopefully you like the video. Like the video, please. It really helps. If you would like to subscribe, that would also be very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you get food and water. Please take care of yourselves, guys. It's really important. Um, go make the world a better place. The world is the world is in a very tumultuous state right now. So if you can go out and do one good thing for a person, that'd be amazing. Everyone, please stay safe out there. Much love to all of you. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of the world. I love you, darlings. I'll see you later.